At Cooley High School, we, we won three state consecutive championships, which was a, a really good accomplishment for us. But what Ben did was he took a bunch of young men or young boys and turned us to young men to be able to be prepared for the next level. One of the reasons why we're here is community. You know, um, we did something that brought life to our community and our school. Uh, not just pride for sports. I mean, I can remember when we were police escorted to games. Felt like the president, you know, and then to have our fans jump in cars and follow us. I'm saying 100 to 200 cars following you, you know, grandmas, mothers, grandfathers, like my mom and dad and granddad never missed a game, you know. So it, it was a sense of, to me, more of community and not just team. That's why I, I'm so excited to be a part of this program because we brought uh, a number of families together. We brought mothers and fathers to come see their sons play that never had an opportunity to see positive things or hear positive things about their child. The thing that I, I, I noticed raising my children and it was very important that we spend time um, because things, um, just to get a little personal, you know, my dad left our family kind of early. I was five, six years old at the time, and, and I made my mind up when I experienced that, that I'll never leave my family. I'll never leave my children. I'll do whatever's necessary to make sure they get the right guidance um, to move forward. And basketball was a key and a blessing and a, a haven, a safe haven for myself and my family because we lived in the gym. What makes me get up in the morning is those little faces that I coach every day, those young men and women that come into my office that need the guidance. Um, you know, I could be selfish, I have my own business, I can sit back and, and just enjoy the revenue and, and not do anything, you know? 52 years old right now, um, a lot of guys, they say, man, how long are you gonna coach? I'm gonna coach as long as I can see and comprehend. When they close Cooley down, I mean, I had to take a pause and really say, hey, you know, this is a huge step. That seemed like you just snatched a heart out of our city, you know, and then out of our um, community because it was a lot of young kids hoping and depending on going through Cooley to see a Mike Talley or a Daniel Lighton or Raphael Peterson, those guys in their communities to say, hey, man, if we could do this, you could do this. And then I tried to find ways then, how can we save it? How, you know, what, who do we need to talk to? So then I ran into uh, Rob Sims, who was a really good friend of mine at a young age. And um, he said, Mike, man, you were the first person I thought about when we started thinking about uh, bringing Cooley back to life. I thought it was a great program, but I needed to know a little bit more about it. I mean, I just don't jump into programs just because things sound good. I had an opportunity to meet Chris and, and a few other uh, men in, in our community who, who spoke highly on it. I had to listen to each interview and what uh, Life Remodel brought to their lives. And then after listening to their testimonies, I said, hey, this sounds like something I really want to be a part of, not just because it's a project at Cooley High, because it's a project I see the, the work that you guys have already done. Um, something that I've already had a passion for is being a part of the kids' lives, no matter in what community it is. But a blessing that uh, Life Remodel brought something to where my passion and what my community is and, and, and able to do some of the things I see that you guys have done in this community. It's about saving lives and not enough, but using basketball again as a tool and also through the knowledge and experience and avenues that uh, Life or Model can offer, we can accomplish those things.